So in this video, we will discuss the importance of Amazon Capture Resolution for web scraping and uh, how mastering this skill can be a turbo charge for your web scraping pipeline to scrape vast amount of data from Amazon. So Amazon employs uh, Capture to protect its data and ensure the usage of their website. However, if you are in web scraping, you know how a Capture can be a road blocker for you. So by the end of this video, you will have all the tools and knowledge that needed to be bypassed Amazon capture effectively. So to know more, let's continue. Hello everyone, my name is Ashish from Shortels AI. Welcome to this tutorial on how to resolve Amazon captcha using Python and Selenium. So if you have ever encountered Amazon captcha while trying to scrape the data from Amazon, you are not alone. In this video, I will show you how to overcome this obstacle and continue your web scraping journey. So the page appears on my screen is Amazon CAPTCHA page that appears when a user exceeds the Amazon's predefined request limit within a short time frame. So we will use a Python library named as Amazon CAPTCHA. This will allow us to extract and resolve the Amazon CAPTCHA programmatically. So before we start with the code, uh, Let's make sure you have already installed Python in your system and a couple of library like Selenium and Amazon Captcha. So let's install Selenium. So this is already installed in my system. So this didn't take that much time to install. So similarly, we need to install Amazon Captcha also. Okay, so both of the library has installed in my system. So let's start with the code by importing some pre-requisite uh, pre library like web driver. Sorry, from Selenium web driver. The second one is Amazon Captcha. We also need to import a by class that will help us to locate elements from document. So this will comes under selenium dot driver dot common by import by. So now we need to initialize web driver. So in this tutorial I will use a Chrome driver. So it's your preference you can use any of the web driver of any of the browser as per your wish. So let's initialize Chrome web driver here. So we need to pass chrome driver path here. I will pass relative path chrome driver. So I have already downloaded chrome web driver from the internet and locate here in driver folder. So I won't block my IP by sending a high volume request to Amazon. To save the time I will use direct URL of Amazon Captcha. So let's load Amazon Captcha page via Selenium here. Yeah, so you can see that we have uh, successfully loaded the Amazon Captcha page. So now so now we need to locate the source link of captcha image so 
so let's wait for the load so all the document of this web page so the url of this captcha image is comes under the class having a div tag and in this we have a image tag and the value of images comes under src attribute so let's target this class in the selenium right so this is img driver image div driver dot find element by xpath we will use xpath to extract this so this comes under the div tag and the attribute we are using is class so the value of this class is okay So we have targeted the div div tag having a class name a rock text center and then we targeted the image tag img tag that comes under this element i'm getting the attribute value of src so this would be this link hmm. so let's try to check if you are we are able to extract the image capture image link yes as you can see that we are successfully able to extract the link of capture image this will be useful to resolve the capture in further code so to resolve the captcha we will use amazon captcha now so let's say it's link let's rename this variable as a link and create a new variable of captcha so it should be amazon captcha dot from link because we are uh, passing the value of link here then we will we should have a captcha value here in amazon captcha dot sol captcha so let's see if we are able to extract the value of captcha so yes as we can see it's m x f f a n and the function is successfully return the string it's return the data in a string data type so it's same exactly same so we can use this value here and now we need to put this value in this field and then click on the continue button so let's target this input field now let's close this all browsers and free some ram So we will use 
id here of this field to put the captcha value in this field so it's a input field dot find element by dot id as we are using id from locator dot we will use send key to pass the captcha value which we are getting from here to here capture value yes now after putting the capture value in this field we need to click on continue shopping button so let's target this class let's see if we have already some more class with this same class name no we have one class so it would be easy to target this so let's click on this target this button field so the button driver find element class name now we will click this button and see if you are able to bypass the captcha and load the amazon page amazon home page so let's trigger the final code and see if it works oops it's id sorry let's try again yes so as you can see that we have successfully bypassed the amazon capture here so thank you so much